we're here at the Freeze Art Fair in New York where a number of Chinese galleries will be exhibiting. Today we'll see how Chinese artists, both emerging and established, are working outside the art market. At this year's edition of Freeze New York, Chinese exhibitors are offering a perspective of Chinese contemporary art that demands to be viewed apart from art market trends. This year, the Boris Lee Gallery is expressly exhibiting artists who worked before the rise of a popular market for Chinese art. These artists are really um, they, they were active in a time when they didn't know about the art market and was just really doing art from their heart and we think that is so amazing and precious, especially in nowadays when the market sometimes drives the art. Most of the artworks here on show are made only because the artists want to make it. If you see this work, you really can see that it is made because of other kind of reasons than uh, that it's about money or it's about artist career. Uh, or it's about profiling yourself in this hyper-individualistic and branding-oriented society. Similarly, to avoid pigeonholing its artists into the narrow category of Chinese contemporary art as defined by the art market, the Long March space is exhibiting works that are intended to be viewed in the same universal context as the rest of the world's contemporary artists. In general, the artists that we represent and the contemporary art that we try to promote is the type that sort of try to more eliminate that gap between China and the rest of the world. We want our artists to be discussed on the same platform as the international. We would describe our artists as contemporary artists based in China instead of Chinese contemporary artists. As these established Chinese contemporary artists seek to shed their country of origin labels, so are many emerging Chinese artists looking beyond China for both artistic inspiration and identity. A very interesting the new idea about Chineseness, which includes the Chinese diaspora and also our mission is to explore young Chinese generations' idea about new media, new culture. Freeze New York came to a close May 12th, but it will return May 13th, 2015. For more information from Sinovision English Channel, please visit us online at en.sinovision.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I am Lonnie Nelson.